The push for more pre-kindergarten classes in Kansas City is far from over, and now the vote has been put on hold. Stephanie Kayser explains why. Mayor Sly James addressed concerns about his tax proposal for pre-K today here at Union Station. There was pushback from his original proposal, but he says this is the best investment they can make. Now he's stepping back, giving people more time to have conversations and bring forward solutions to some of the issues they have had with the proposal. And now voters will be deciding in April instead of this November. The mayor is proposing a 3.8 cent sales tax to help schools in Kansas City. This would generate $30 million annually. Right now, only 35% of four-year-olds are enrolled in a pre-K school. And those that aren't, the mayor says, are already falling behind. The barrier is access and affordability. The median income for a household in Kansas City is $47,489, and it costs about $12,000 a year to send a child to a high-quality early childhood education program. That's roughly 25% of a family's income. The mayor wants there to be a standard quality rating system uniform across the entire city, but some educational organizations have their concerns. They also want to make sure this reaches all students, that it would support good quality programs in every neighborhood, especially reaching the areas where there are currently pre-K deserts, meaning areas without early childhood education. The first phase of the implementation plan will be to build up that quality in the areas where they don't have it, which are exactly the areas that you're talking about because one of the reasons that it's not there now is because nobody has done anything to build that up. He says they have looked at about 10 to 12 other cities such as Seattle, Denver and Cincinnati that have implemented similar plans and will use those best practices. In downtown Kansas City, Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News.